China's artificial sun. I never thought it could be a possibility, but here it is. China has an artificial sun, but it's not a giant yellow spherical shaped thing launched in the space. It's in the lab. In this video, we will talk about what the artificial sun is, how it works, what its purpose is, the background, the cost, and more. The light and heat our original sun provides is a source of all energy on Earth. And the purpose of China's artificial sun is also to provide energy using nuclear fusion reaction like the sun. Fusion reaction not only happens in the sun but in other stars as well. Let's try to understand in brief what fusion reaction is. In fusion reaction, two or more lighter and smaller nuclei merge to form a bigger and heavier nucleus. In the sun, four hydrogen atoms fuse together to generate a helium atom. To be specific, four protons of the four hydrogen atoms. When they collide forcefully to become one helium, the overall mass of a helium atom is much less than the four hydrogen atoms. The additional mass converts into a huge amount of energy. From Einstein's famous equation E equals to mc square, we know that mass can be converted into energy. In the sun's core, 620 million metric tons of hydrogen fusion happens in every second. China's East project, the artificial sun, also uses the same technique. They merge hydrogens to create helium, which releases energy following the same process that happens in the sun. To achieve such process artificially on Earth, atoms need to be at plasma state. In simple language, plasma state means charged gas state. If I may elaborate in one sentence, Plasma state is a high degree of ionized state where most electrons are separated from their nuclei. To make fusion reaction work, a temperature of almost 100 to 150 million degrees Celsius is required, which is 10 times more than the sun's core. At the same time, a pressure of 5 to 10 atmospheres at the point of reaction and the ability to maintain a stable high energy plasma for at least 10 seconds but more the better. A fusion device like EAST also requires a very powerful magnetic fields to contain and manipulate the chamber. A fusion device also requires to maintain stable operation for thousands of seconds to enable the self-sustaining circulation of plasma. For the first time on January 20th, 2025, EAST achieved 1066 seconds of sustained temperature exceeding 100 million degrees Celsius. Scientists worldwide have been working on this mission since 70 years. The previous record was 403 seconds also set by EAST at the Institute of Plasma Physics under the Chinese Academy of Science in 2023. EAST broke its own record a couple of times. Before EAST, Tor Supra Tokamak of France set a world record in 2003 for the longest duration of fusion reaction for 6.5 minutes or 390 seconds. Later in 2016, Korea Superconducting Tokamak Advanced Research Reactor in South Korea set a world record by maintaining 50 million degrees Celsius for 70 seconds. East broke that record in 2021 for maintaining 119 million degrees Celsius for 102 seconds. China is spending an estimated cost of more than a trillion for this project and planning to complete another tokamak fusion device by 2030. China is one of the seven members of the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor Program. Their goal is to build world's largest tokamak fusion reactor in southern France by 2035. By making East or the artificial sun successful, China is contributing its 9% to ITER's operation. 35 other countries are participating in this project, including the United States, the United Kingdom, the entire European Union, and India. This is going to be the total revolution towards clean energy production. Energy production through fusion reaction does not produce greenhouse gases and does not leave any radioactive waste as well. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to stay tuned.